Hey there everybody, welcome to Lost in Games. I am Patrick and today we are doing a what's in the box or in this case a what's in the bag. We are going to be taking a look at Revolution Games and I'm gonna hope I say this right. Sele, Sele, Sele. Um, basically Battle of the Bulge. Um, Revolution Games is a, a kind of a smaller company. They produce a, a lot of games in bags. Um, I bought a few of them, and this is the one that I'm looking forward to playing first, and it is number one. So we are going to take a look at what's in the bag. At a later date, after I've checked out the game system, I will come back and do a review on the game. So let's take a look at... Sele? Seles? Sele? Sel. Okay, so here we have the what's in the bag for Chele. Um, the Ardennes, December 23rd through the 27th, so five days in the Battle of the Bulge. Volume 1, Volume 1, as of right now, I don't think there has been another volume. I am a big Battle of the Bulge um, fan from that particular uh, theater um, for, for war games. So this is pretty exciting. I really hope they do do more of these. But let's go ahead and take a look at what you get inside this small bag. And when I say small, don't think less of it. Um, you know, there are huge war games, there are gigantic war games, and there are games you want to play in an afternoon. And as long as you get a good experience, it doesn't matter if it's packed or not. It matters if it's a good game. So here we have the intro, which on the other side serves as the player aid. You have the CRT at the top, different modifiers for combat, attack, defense, movement point costs against different terrain, and then action chits, which, there you go, laid out, pretty straightforward, good card stock. We have the counters themselves, which are not um, super impressive, they're standard counters. Um, the art is pretty straightforward, functional, I guess is the word that I would use, so they're, they're okay. Um, not very many of them, so you get the gist of the game. This is a definitely a more focused study of one part of the Battle of the Bulge versus fighting out the entire thing. So here you go, the counter sheet. We have the uh, rules, black and white, standard paper. Um, look pretty straightforward, remind me a little bit of White Dog Games in their rule books. Nice thing about them, take a look at them, you can see that here's, I just opened it up to page six and seven. We have rules, and we have example, and we have rules and example, so plenty of examples, which I think are a must for role-playing games. The game itself looks pretty straightforward. Um, there you go, 12 pages overall. Including the back page is the game setup. And last but not least, we have the map. And this is a pretty good looking map, I can tell. So here is one portion of the Ardennes. We have the day track at the top with the different actions. It says tactical available, tactical played, tactical available, tactical played, victory points. Um, Good looking map. I think it's really good looking. Yeah, I think it's a very good looking map. Um, one sided, obviously. Pretty straightforward. So there you have it. Chile. I will check it out and come back and do a review of the game. I've already done uh, Compass of Games Battle of the Bulge, which is pretty awesome. Um, so it'll be interesting to see how this one compares to it. This is obviously a lighter and more focused game and I'm looking forward to checking it out. So there you go. Chale, The Ardennes, December 23rd to the 27th by Revolution Games. Volume 1, Revolution Games. We're looking for Volume 2. Thank you. Don't forget to get lost in games. Take care and subscribe. Have a good day everyone.